Christianity and Islam are the world's two biggest religions, with several billion followers between them. But for so long they have been largely isolated from one another, especially in the West. Many Christians don't want other Christians to learn about Islam, and many Muslims don't want Muslims to learn about Christianity. This video is for Muslims who know nothing about Christianity and who don't have the time to look it all up. We're going to keep this very simple. Here are four Bible verses you should know. All of them are the words of Jesus. Luke 9.22 The Son of Man must suffer many things, he said. He must be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, and he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Jesus is saying that he's going to be killed and then raised up on the third day. Why would he be killed? Well, Mark 10.45 gives us the answer. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is Jesus, not any other church leader or Christian. Jesus is going to die for the sake of other people. Which people is he going to die for? John 6.40 gives us that answer. For it is my Father's will that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Jesus is saying that he's going to die for everyone who believes in him. Our response to his sacrifice should be to believe in him in order to receive eternal life. If you believe in him, he will raise you up from the dead. Interesting for him to say that, since both the Old Testament and the Quran say that God raises people from the dead. But why am I sharing this with you? Because of what Jesus says after he is resurrected in Matthew 28, 19. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Notice that he commands his followers to baptize people in the name, singular, of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus says that God is a trinity. That's a big problem for Islam, since Islam affirms Jesus' message. And Muslims can't just say that the Bible has been corrupted because the Quran affirms the inspiration, preservation, and authority of the Bible. If you'd like proof, see this video for more. See you next time.